Every year, the Grand Canyon attracts millions of tourists to experience its awesome beauty. But in 1977, one of those tourists experienced a moment of terror so intense that even today, it still haunts her. 21 years ago, Al Halliday of Heartland, Michigan, took his family on a vacation to Grand Canyon National Park. He brought along his 14-year-old sister, Janie. We stopped off at a, a lookout point, and we were just all kind of roaming around, sort of on our own. In spite of warnings posted along the rim, Janie was determined to get a good photograph of the canyon floor, a dangerous shot that could only be taken beyond the guardrail. As soon as she stepped past the barrier, her nightmare began. I had taken a few photographs just looking out, but I wanted one looking down to show the depth of this canyon. All of a sudden, my feet just came out from under me. Whoa! Janie hurtled down the steep cliff towards certain death, when suddenly her body came to a mysterious abrupt stop. I just thought, this is strange. You know, what, what stopped me? There wasn't anything that I did. Above her on the overlook, Janie's family was in a state of shock. They couldn't hear her cries for help and could only imagine that she had fallen thousands of feet. My wife was screaming, my sister-in-law was screaming. As I was leaning out, looking over, I couldn't see her, I couldn't even see the bottom. Janie! You know, it's one of those moments of sheer panic. You know, what do you do, where did she go? Janie tried to work her way up the steep embankment, but with each movement, she risked losing her footing and plunging down the side of the cliff. I can remember looking up at the top, but it was so steep you could not see the top. And I just sat there for a few minutes and just thought, you know, how am I supposed to get back up? Desperate and frightened, Janie continued to push herself up the steep cliff but she was in an impossible situation. There was no way that she could do this on her own. Janie has no idea how it happened, but one moment she was hopelessly trapped on the side of the canyon, and the next, she found herself back at the top. I don't remember actually moving up, but I remember I knew something strange had happened. My family, as soon as they saw me, they all just came running, and they were crying, and I was crying, and, and we just hugged. When Janie returned home, she shared her terrifying experience with her mother, Shirley. And that's when she discovered a possible explanation for what had happened. At the exact moment she was hanging for her life from the side of the cliff, her mother, over 1,500 miles away, experienced a powerful premonition. I knew that Janie was going to die. I couldn't stop sobbing. As quickly as her feeling of panic had arrived, it suddenly left. I stopped crying. A peace just came over me, and I couldn't imagine why I had this premonition. I didn't even know where they were. Years later, Shirley traveled to the exact spot where her daughter had nearly died. And I walked the trails and went out to the lookout points. Anyone that ever goes over that edge, there is no way they can ever get back to the top without some miracle. From that time on, I felt safe always. You know, that I did have a guardian angel that was watching over me. Here, we'll all put our hands on the baby. <laughs> Today, as Janie prepares to be a mother for the first time, she has no doubt that surviving a fall into the Grand Canyon was nothing short of a miracle. My guardian angel was the person that stopped me on that side of the cliff and, and brought me back up to the top safely. Faith just gets you through every day and, and every trial and tribulation.